You have 2,039 messages. 2,000? Holy mackerel. Well, I guess there ain't no time for sitting around. I better dig right in. I'm Tuss Tarbell, and this here's episode number 424, I do believe. <laughs> well, I won't say I didn't ask for it, but dang, y'all been really busy calling in with all your questions and requests. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. It makes me feel a little less lonesome, knowing you're all out there watching the program. And I promise to listen to every last one of these messages. We're going to get through what we can here tonight. So, without any further delay. My name is Blair. I am from Washington State, and I would like to hear Louisa, because it's the best damn song ever. Bye. Well, I think we know where to start. Hit it, boys. <laughs> I feel your lips 
get back to it, huh? Okay, let, let's see what else we got here. Hey, I'm Jenny from Texas. Can y'all play Wait by the River? Because I listen to that at 3 a.m. and the range of emotions it makes me feel is indescribable. Yeah, I, I know what you mean, Jenny. That number always gets me feeling all kinds of things, too. Let's see what the boys can do for you. I was calling to see, tell you first off, great show, and also, what type of whiskey are you drinking, Fred? I'd like to know so I can take part in the same on the next episode. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye. Well, partner, I'm glad you asked. Anyone who knows me at all knows I'm a bootheel man. 
always have been. Whether I'm looking to put my feet up or give my night a kick in the pants, Boo Hill is always my beverage of choice. Hey, it's Tubbs. This is Dan in Chattanooga, first time caller. Me and my Uncle Gene are wondering if you can settle something for us. You see, he's trying to tell me that our universe isn't the only universe. That's true. And that there are a bunch of other universes out there. That's right. Is he full of crap or what? Well, that's a tough one. Knowing what's beyond the observable universe ain't easy. But that doesn't mean there's nothing there. The many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics suggests that there are infinite universes branching out like a tree forever. And that means there are infinite versions of this very moment. You know, like a version where um, I'm wearing sunglasses? Well, who knows? I guess it is possible. But if you ask me, one tub is enough. So, Dan. I guess you and Uncle Gene will just have to agree to disagree on this one. Now, you fellas take it one universe at a time, okay? Ancient Names, Part 1. Such a good song. Thank you. You know what? Maybe there's a universe where the boys are already playing it. You think?
up, Tubbs? This is Adam from Cincinnati, and I would love it if the guys could play. I will be back one day. Uh, it always reminds me of my boyhood uh, vacations up in northern Michigan. That'd be awesome. Thanks, guys. Hey Tubbs, we're big fans. What's your favorite song by uh, Hanson Scott? Hmm, now that's a tricky one to answer. Let's see here. I've always been partial to his first album. Just some songs I know. Love that second track. But then again, there are some real rippers on that follow-up album. More songs I know. <laughs> I remember when I presented him with his first Pine record right here on this very show. Boy, that was a long time ago. You know, some people assume that was a stage name, but it wasn't. It was his real name, the name his mama gave him. And no one could deny he was a good looking fella. And kind as they come, a truly gentle soul. 
Well, all that has to say that I don't think I can choose a favorite song. I loved everything about that kid. It's Dan and Emily from Castro Valley, California. Hooey! We'd like to hear World Ender. World Ender's best song ever made. World Ender because it shows how much people need to care about the dead. That can be a dangerous tune. You just might summon up something you didn't mean to. But if you know what you're doing.
My name is Ryan, and I'm from San Rafael. And, you know, watching this week's broadcast, I just brought me back to all my old memories of the Whispering Pines collection. I thought, how nice would it be to hear uh, The Moon Doesn't Mind from Roy Casey? It would um, be wonderful to, to, to hear that again. Thank you very much. Bye. Dang, that's an oldie but a goodie. Oh, hey, you know what? That reminds me of something. I found this old cache of film reels the other day. Maybe we ought to fire up the old projector.
jusqu'à ta mort. Je te verrai dans une autre vie. Je te verrai dans une autre vie. The Purple, you are amazing. Thank you so much for the great program. We like the concert. This is uh, Matt Heim and Liam Heim from Salisbury, Maryland. We loved it. We loved it. Oh, Tubbs, play me something I can feel. Play me something that cuts straight through my heart. Play me something I can sway to. Play me something sad. Is that... No, it can't be. But it sounds just like her. What the blazes? My name is Kaya from Albany, and I would like to hear Love Like Ghosts because it makes me feel things.
It's the middle of winter up here in Canada. We have to hear frozen pines. Thank you. I'm Belinda from Massachusetts. I want to hear frozen pines. Um, I feel like it's a message from someone I lost and I love very much. I'd like to hear frozen pines. My name is Kanan. I'm from Connecticut. I'd like to hear frozen pines. My name is Victor. I am from Toronto, Canada. And I'd like to hear frozen pines. Um, this is Natalie Kilby calling from Sydney, Australia. I would like to hear frozen pines next time. Thanks very much. Bye. Hi, Tubbs. My name is Demetra, and I am from San Francisco, California, and I would love to hear frozen pines. Thanks. May you live until you die. Hey, this is Alec Russell, and I would love to hear Frozen Pines played. That song really speaks to me, really. Um, it, really it really resonates with me what it's like to miss somebody. For my mother, Nancy Ann, I would love to hear Frozen Pines. Thank you.
It's been delightful. So long. Good luck. Goodbye. Until next time. Hi, Tubbs. It's me, Guadalupe from New York. And I was just calling in because I noticed that your face was kind of blurry sometimes. And I just want to know, what's up with that? Thanks. Bye. Danny here from the Lake Beyond. Tubbs, are you an alien? Because your face keeps blurring out and you disappeared while eating a sandwich. Hey, Tubbs, I've got a question. I noticed you did not eat the sandwich in the broadcast. What was the sandwich made of, and why didn't you eat it? Thanks. Oh, God, this is real? Um, are you going to finish your sandwich? I love you, Tubbs. Bye. Hello, Tubbs. Um, my name is Alex, and I hope this isn't too forward of me, but I was just wondering if I might have the next dance with you. Please let me know. Hey, Tubbs, this is Neil calling, man. I'm enjoying the music. I was just curious. Um, you're looking mighty fine in that hat. and you're, I was just curious what your what skincare products you use. You look young as hell. Let me know. This is Neil. Hi, Tubbs. Um, it's Hadley. I wanted to ask you how you got all of your hats and why you have all of your hats. Hi, Tubbs. How's the weather there in Whispering Pines today? I haven't stopped staring into the void, and now the void stares back. What do I do now? Tubbs, have you ever killed a man, or were you killed yourself? And if you were killed, are you a ghost in heaven or purgatory or hell right now? Hey, Tubbs. How'd you end up all alone out there in Whispering Pines? Hey there, Tubbs. What has been going on in the previous 400 or so episodes? Hey, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for doing this program. It really means a lot to so many of us. It's really cool to be able to hear new stuff and uh, new takes on old stuff in the middle of everything going on. Um, it really makes us feel like we're not alone. Uh, I don't have any questions. I just wanted to say a uh, nice job. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>